has got enough compression, as you can see, pushing that around. Give it a couple of kicks to show you. So I'm going to pull, pull the head off and do all that, order a piston and I'm going to take this off and I'm going to do a compression check then you guys can see that what the compression is inside there for yourselves. Once I get the new piston in there I'll do the compression test again and you can see the difference, it might be of use to someone. I don't know what the compression is supposed to be, but I'm uh, pretty sure that's the problem. Well, there we go. It's got an O-ring on the top there to seal it up. And you can see that. I push the button. Okay, just a little bit up above zero, but whatever. Give me an idea. If that's a little bit up, then I guess I'll just do it. Yeah, you know, work with it. I don't know why it's like that. All right. Just gonna stick that. See, it's just stays. Put it there and just whatever. There we go. Give it a kick. What have we got? Now oh, well, that one's below fifty, so if this was already up a bit. Equal fins on it. Carbon down inside here. And I don't know how many people know this, but you can see my finger there. If I can focus on it. There you go, see my finger up top there. That's the choke. Push it down. Choke's on. And if I give a flick of the throttle, and you keep watching that, a full throttle flick. Turns off. Just in case no one knew that, and there you do.
on est un pas ouais, est vrai. That's the motor there. That's what this one is. Yeah, anyway. It's got the S5 in front of my finger. Um, so, I guess is the these bolts here and four bolts. Apparently that helps you sourcing parts as well. Anyway, this is a little bike in pieces. Okay, so I had to use both hands to undo this. But, uh, there we go, there's the piston. And that's what the piston looks like. I gave it a bit of a rub on the top. Just to see how easy it comes off. There is pretty stuck, it's pretty burnt. Definitely doesn't look like a new one. So, there we go. Can't see any numbers on the top of this yet. But, uh, give it a decent clean up of my Samsung. The gasket, it's got the head of toe, but we've got it kind of running. Okay. I think there's the ball. I need to give that a clean up, but there's no major screwing that I've seen. There's some wear marks, but not massive holes in it. But yeah, that's a bit of trick. Right, so what I've got here is the new piston. It's just turned up. I've already opened it, had a look, but anyway. piston that we're going to put in.
right about now that I better block that hole off so they don't drop it in there. It. I'm going to recheck the top later. Uh, you can see inside there or not. Let's 
So we've got one bolt to put through here, and then uh, reassemble the carburetor. Put that back in. Put the chain on, and give it uh, give it its first start since the new piston and rings. There we go, chop the, chop the block down, chop it up, pile it off the edge a bit. I don't know what happened to the block that was there, but better to put one in than to leave it out. Just on the edge mount. There we go. So I check this up. Yeah, that's good. Down there. But have a bit easy. Put a gasket on there. There's the joiner, it's got to connect to that. Put a bit of heat proof paint on the exhaust just to tidy it up a bit. And there we go, look, compression.
it. Then we'll start it up. Check on. Some petrol.